So today our job is to get this thing running, check the valve lashes, check the jetting, and hopefully weld on the muffler. If everything goes to plan, we should go riding, so yeah, stay tuned. Thing is loud. I gotta put that muffler back on. Probably just woke up every single one of my neighbors. It's out of tune, out of valve adjustment. We'll try to fix it and uh, hopefully we'll be good to go. The motor is on its way out but that could be a good thing. It means we could put a swap a bigger motor in there in the future. In my video titled I spent $500 on eBay parts, I promised y'all I would put this on something and this thing is way too loud so I'm going to put this on that, and it's just going to look sick. I wish they would have included the Akrapovich logo on here. Should have asked for it, but... Oh, well. It is what it is. Let's get this thing welded on. It's, it's going to look sick. I'm just trying to figure out the best way to mount it. So far guys, this is what we have. Well guys, we got the exhaust all finished. Looks really nice. I'm not sure if I want to paint the header black or silver or leave it like that, but I can't wait to put this thing on and hear what it sounds like. So let's get to it. So I got the carburetor out, and here's a 3 inch air filter, and we're going to try to connect these two and have it go up at a 90 degree angle, and uh, it's going to be it's going to be pretty sick, so stay tuned guys. Alright guys, we are here at Lowe's, let's go get this uh, tube made. After countless hours, we have come up with this contraption carburetor, some tubing, a 90 degree band, that, and we had to buy like two couplers which are really hard to find, and up to a two and a half inch air filter looks pretty slick. We'll have it mounted obviously, and I don't think it's going to go anywhere, so yeah. 
yeah, I will probably have to play around with it, change the angles a little bit, possibly lower it, and paint it black. But um, I'm going to go ahead and start it, see how it runs, because I know it's going to restrict the airflow a lot. And I'll probably have to down jet it. But uh, maybe we can solve that problem by just running bigger PVCs. Still got to play around with it a little bit, but let's give it a shot. That, my friends, is why you should always invest in an air gun. The reason why I'm doing this is because I have something that's going to make it go a lot faster. Okay guys, so I'm taking out three rollers. I am fairly confident this is going to give me... Um, it's going to improve everything all around because with the heavy weights, I installed these heavy weights that seem to lug the engine. Just trust me guys. We got the cover back on. Well guys, it's the next day and we've officially gotten this dune buggy street legal and registered. No, I'm just kidding guys. We actually had that license plate laying around, so I put it on there. Let me know down below if I should keep it. But the dune buggy is looking fresh. We've got some of the missing pieces installed like the mud flaps. This exhaust just looks amazing. I'm really happy with how it looks. We've got the header painted black and it just really nicely contours into the muffler, into that stainless steel. We got this bracket welded. It's literally like stiff. And here's the intake tube. We've actually painted it black and it just looks amazing. Overall, I am really happy with how this buggy looks. Let me know, should I keep that license plate or no? I think it's kind of funny. So yeah, it's looking pretty fresh. The only thing it does need it's a battery. Well, it needs everything, but the main thing it needs is just a battery, and that's it. I'm going to go ahead and start it, and I'm really excited to test out the new airbox and the new CVT mod we did. So, yeah. That's good valve adjustment for y'all. I figured out this thing is running rich because the more I put my hand on the intake, the more it wants to stall. We've just gotten everything adjusted. Went down from a 110 to a 105 on a main jet. We went up from a 40 to a 45 on the pilot jet. So yeah, let's give it a shot. Idle's better, but there is still some kind of main, main jet bog. Well guys, it seems like we fixed everything. The little snorkel seems like it was too restrictive, so we went ahead and took that off. We'll have to come up with a better solution, but I'm really surprised with how this buggy, it's pretty fast. Check this out, guys. And the tune seems to be right on point.
We clapped out our wheel. Uh oh. <laughs> Well, that's, I guess we're gonna have to spend another $500 on some wheels and tires. Man, but the thing, the thing, the CVT mod really made it fly. It just, it kind of pops wheelies. Like, you can kind of feel the front suspension rising. Um, I don't even know how I'm gonna take this home. Well guys, it looks like removing those weights really opened this buggy up, especially adding this muffler. It kind of made the tune run way better, and it just runs overall much better. The valves are an adjustment. Fortunately, the wheels are crap now, so I'm going to have to go buy some wheels in the future. It's not going to be anytime soon because I have other projects lined up, but this thing is incredibly fast. I am happy. Um, so, thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like down below. Subscribe if you're new. And um, we're going to go put this thing up before our neighbors call the cops. Be sure you guys stay tuned for my next video. And I will see you in the next video. Stay tuned for more. Peace.